Okay, hopefully, hopefully this doesn't this doesn't get cut off. I don't have a lot of space in my phone left. But uh, how y'all doing this evening? I mean, this afternoon. Excuse me. Who be one eighty six back again with another video? And and we're going to. I'm going to do it this way. Um, because hopefully the video is not super long. But if if I if I do need to make this super long, then I'll make a longer vid, video out of it. Anyway, we're going to review Microsoft's uh, game showcase from yesterday, from Thursday, July twenty second, twenty third. Excuse me. Um, we're going to talk about it, not necessarily about the games, but I really want to talk about the reaction to it because there's been a lot of there's been a lot of talk about the reaction to it. Um, I think the overall consensus is that the show was a bit disappointing. And for me, in my my opinion, I'll put I'll put my opinion out right now. I it wasn't a bad show, but I don't it, it wasn't the show that that convinced me to stay to stay with the Xbox brand. Now I made a I made a case about this uh a couple weeks ago with my um Xbox fanboy rant video. And I made a tweet about it yesterday that this show was going to determine whether or not I'm going to stay with the Xbox brand moving forward. And what I mean by that is I have an Xbox One S right now, right? Um, I do like the console a lot. It's a great console. But, unfortunately, the games that I that I like for it have run dry. Um, I, I played all the games that I wanted to play. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that I was disappointed in Gears Five, but Gears Five, I kind of got bored of it, so I, I, so I stopped playing that. Um, you know, I do like Halo, but I'm not gonna play that forever. I um, mean, I like the Forza games, but, but again, I, I'm not gonna play that forever either. So the the it's run dry when it comes to the Xbox brand for me, and then, and then um, further that um, the games that they have shown so far. Has not captivated me when it comes to their new purchases, their new studio purchases. Like I, like I said, I, I like I don't want to harp over it, but you know, games like Bleeding Edge, um, what's that game called? Um, Bleeding Edge, Ground. Those games don't interest me at all. So, so again, this show was supposed to be kind of like, um, <coughs> like that show was supposed to be, um, that was supposed to be the showcase. <coughs> Sorry, still trying to play this cold, this, this cough. Um, yeah, and and truth be told, um, there were a lot of cool games that they showed. Like, I'm not going to sit there and and, and and pretend that they weren't good stuff shown. Like, Stalker Two looks interesting. I heard it's a, it's a first person shooter on uh, PC. I think uh, it's been on PC for a while. That game looks cool. Like Tetris Connected looks cool. I like Tetris. You know what I mean? And, and that was really the only thing that, and for those of you who don't know, that game is pretty much just an enhanced version of Tetris Effect that came out on the PlayStation, uh, on the PS4, I want to say a year, a year or so ago. So, and that one, that, and, and this new one is going to have multiplayer and stuff like that. So, yeah, that, that, that game's cool to me. Like, Halo looked good. Like, I mean, Halo looked like Halo. Like, do, like, did I think that it was some type of next-gen you know, you know, face melting um, experience. No, no, it wasn't. But it was Halo, and you know, like I said, I like, I do like Halo. Um, there, there's been some rumors going on about what's going on with the multiplayer and stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm gonna wait till the, I'm gonna wait till Microsoft say something or three, four, three, whatever. I'll wait for them to say something. I'm not going off of rumors and shit like that. So, so yeah, so you know, Halo, like Halo, it looks fun. Like it's fine. You know, but the problem is that their first party games did nothing to pour me, right? Like I say, I don't care about State of Decay at all. Like, so I'm, I'm not, I'm never gonna play that. I don't care if it's, if it's, you know, if it's actually AAA this time. I don't care. The problem, the, the problem with that game to me that the game looks boring to me. So I don't, so I don't, I don't care about that game, right? Um. Like I said, they they, they announced Forza Motorsport. There's no number. There was no number that I saw with it. Um, but you know, obviously, it, it is the next installment. Um, I, there is some worry that it might go the GT Sports route. And to people who don't know, GT Sport, you know, came out with very little content. What 
I wouldn't say like little content. Well, yeah, it did come out with little content, but it also came out kind of kind of broken when it comes to the online. And if they if they want to turn more for the motorsport into a platform, like a um like you know a game, I can I, I guess you can say games as a service platform. That's fine as long as you you don't have any online connectivity issues that that Polyphony Digital had with GT. Then I don't I don't see it as a big deal because truth be told, despite the quality of of the Forza games, I've played GT Sport more than both those both those games. Um, this, then both the games I played this generation, like which is um, Forza Seven and Forza Horizon um, three three and well I, I I think I have four I had four did I have Forza Horizon yeah Forza Horizon four and and despite. And for the Rising Four is a good game, but I, I dropped it. I dropped it early because it wasn't. I kind of got bored of it. So, yeah. So like, like I said, as long as, as long as they can keep it, if it, if it is a game as a service, as long as it has, as long as the online's fine, then then I don't I don't see a problem with it. But okay, so other than that, you know, Obsidian showed off their new first person RPG, which they didn't show much of, which I think was part of the problem. Avowed, and you know those are not those are those aren't games I'm interested. In. I'm in, I'm not interested in those type of games. So, and then um, you know they showed off some other stuff like the median. Um, they show, excuse me, sorry, sorry about that. Um, you know they show they show off, they show off some games. Like I can't I can't think of all of them off the top of my head. Like they showed off a teaser trailer for for Fable at the end, which was you know highly rumored and. At the very least, I'll say this about Fable. At least the series is coming back. Like, people, Xbox fans have been asking for that game forever. A revival of that game forever. And they got it. You know, they, you didn't get nothing. You, all you really got was a, trail, a, a teaser trailer. But that was, that was fine. Like, you you're, you know that the game exists. So, but here's the thing. Overall, the show is fine. If you own an Xbox, you're good. Like, you, you're going to get to play all these great games. You're gonna play, you know, enhanced versions of, of Gears Five and all that other stuff with their with their programming and stuff like with their um you know back back compact stuff and all that jazz and you're you're good. You're really you're good to go. But my 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 thing with the conference is that it 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 didn't show it like the, the new games that they show from their new studio do nothing for me. They do absolutely nothing for me, and for somebody who who who, who wants to see their their new like I I was all in on Microsoft you know going in on and buying all these new studios I'm all in on that like I, I am but the problem is that at you know they have to make games that interest me and and I I don't see it I can't think of one new game that they showed that I was interested in. Everything that I was interested in are either their their reigning first party stuff like Halo and Forza, and stuff that I know are going to be on the PS5 um, at some point, like Tetris, um, Stalker 2, which I believe will be on PlayStation at some point, and um, you know, like and, and stuff like that, like that. And honestly, like I'm not I'm not buying I'm not I'm not I'm not buying another Xbox for that. Like I'm not buying a Series X. For Halo and for and, and Forza, I, I I I did that already. I did that already, and and I just can't, I can't do it, man. Like I can't, I can't do it. I I you know, and again, like I like I I like I like my I like my Xbox One S. I like the brand in general. I do think that the you we do want to see um, Microsoft succeed. You know what I mean? I, I don't I don't want to see Microsoft um, fail. Like I'm not I'm not interested. In that. But I, I just like to me. I just I I'm not I'm not intrigued by their first party offering their new first party offerings. And I think part of what hurt the show was that there weren't really any gameplay. Like they're all their all their 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 game Xbox Game Studios, with the exception of Halo, really didn't show much gameplay. Like even Forza didn't show much gameplay. But that that doesn't bother me as much because. Um, you know, because um, I mean, we know we know we know what Forza is. It's a racing game. I mean, we know what that is. But um, <coughs> but every everything else that they showed 
really didn't do much for me, man. Like, and, and that, that to me is the most disappointing part of the, of the show was that like their, their, their new studios are not making games that I'm interested in. And, you know, while I can't, I can't give this show a failing grade because of that, because like I said, I, I look at the totality of the show, um, showed a lot, it showed cool games and it, it was, it was nicely p- paced. Um, it was games, game, game. Those are the type of uh, those are the type of conferences that I like watching. It was it was a, it was a somewhat easy watch. It was it was a somewhat easy watch, like uh, like games that I wasn't interested in. I, like I kind of skipped over them. Um, cause I I didn't watch it live. Like I I, I woke up kind of late, so I, I kind of had to start from the beginning. Um, and I didn't I didn't watch none of the pre the pre show stuff because I figured they, they weren't gonna show much there. Um, but yeah, we didn't, like, but a lot of their game didn't really show much gameplay, and it's hard to kind of go off of, go off of, um, you know, a new IP if you're not going to show gameplay, and, you know, like, it, it, to me, I, I just, it did it just didn't do it for me, it, like, it just, it just didn't do it for me, so, like, for, like I said, the show was fine, um, if I had to give it a grade, I'd probably give it a C, um, but... You know, for me, I just, I it, it didn't, it didn't do, it didn't do much for me, and and that, that to me, that that was the that was the part of the show that was the most disappointing for me, was that it didn't, their studio didn't show anything that I was that I was interested in. Their new studios didn't show anything that I was interested in, and it, and it is a me problem. I don't want to, I don't want to make it seem like oh, the show sucks. Anybody who defends it, you're 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 a loser or whatever. I don't, I don't feel that way at all. Like if, you, if that if, you, if that was your show, if you're all in on that show, I'm happy for you. Um, but for me, it just didn't. It didn't. It didn't do. It didn't do much for me, and, I, and that's you know, a bit disappointing. But anyways, um, that's about it. This will be 186. I'm out. Peace out. Have a good day. Be safe out there.